First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Kodash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. All right, um, the war has changed. Okay, and this is an article from Yahoo uh, News. And uh, now I've read it. I've read it already, so I will leave the, the link, all right, to this article in the description. And I'm not really going to read this article here, but I will give you an overview of the main points that are in it, okay, as well as a few precepts I have here. Okay, now, as you can see, it says the war has changed. Uh, internal CDC document urges new messaging, warns Delta infections likely more severe. And as you read in the article, it basically goes into um, how they, the reason they reversed course and said everybody should put a mask back on now, regardless of your Vanessa status, is because um, they found out that, uh, according to them, this uh, DV, all right, this Delta V, has um, um, become so transmissible, is on the same level as uh, chicken pox. Okay, it's as contagious as chicken pox. All right, I believe that's what they said. Chicken pox or smallpox? No, I think it has to be chicken pox, con. All right, as uh, transmissible as chicken pox and even uh, um, uh, the common cold. Okay, so they're saying the transmission rate is severe, but they're also saying that um, the DV, all right, appears to cause more severe illness than earlier variants. Okay, so there's another push coming, all right, which from the science is looking like another lockdown all right but as you read on they go on look it says here it, it's more it says uh uh it's so contagious all right let me actually read this little portion here it says the document strikes an urgent note revealing the agency knows it must revamp its public messaging to emphasize vanessa as the best defense against a variant so contagious that it acts almost like a different novel virus, leaping from target to target more swiftly than Ebola or the common cold. See, and so, you know, as uh, you know, as they push this more and more, us being spiritual, we understand what this means. And as as you watch, you're seeing that there's checkpoints, right? There's checkpoints, and every time they reach a checkpoint, they up. The propaganda this is almost like something new some new piece of information comes out that can allow them to push more of the propaganda which then gives them permission to get more draconian because now listen to what they're saying right this is the war has changed well if the war has changed then the way you fight the war has to change as well right so if you're saying well the war has changed we used to fight it you know this then the third but it's the 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 enemy is getting stronger then we need to up our game as we're going into winter they're pushing more and more draconian laws and they're coming out with more and more propaganda if you notice they work they work together the more the the the, the more deadly or more new information that's you know dangerous the more warnings come out that's the justification to get more draconian okay and they keep the cycle going now we understand that this is all a prelude, all right, to Marcus, and trust and believe, man, you will see it. You're going, you're gonna see, and we're gonna keep on saying it, man. You're gonna see internment camps because they're already built. You're gonna see whether it's a social media video or wherever it's at, a, a little clip here of people getting hauled off to internment camps. Okay, you're gonna see troops out here on the streets, full blown. Uh, 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 troops, and then you're gonna see that Marcus, all right, and he's gonna be running around, hopping on everybody's hand, <laughs> he's hopping in the right hand, the left hand, the forehead. Marcus is gonna be everywhere. The same way Vanessa is everywhere. Now I remember there was a time when Vanessa wasn't even talked about like that, and all of a sudden, everywhere you go, billboards, news ads, everywhere you go. Vanessa, 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 everywhere, which shows you how this is the control that they have, how they can change the thoughts and the narrative and the direction of people's perceptions and their mindset by putting it everywhere. 
So you don't think that they're going to do the same thing and much more when Marcus comes? Of course they are, man. Because that's going to be the new thing. Wait till they, man, look, man, Yahweh Shem Yahushai is working. All right, wait till they put that, that central bank digital currency and they look for a form, you know, a physical counterpart for it. And they're going to bring Marcus, man. And people are going to stand there and they're gonna, their jaws are going to drop when they look on the TV or they look around on the commercials and the stores and they see people walking around with Marcus in their hand, getting scanned, buying things, selling things, being told where they can and cannot go. It being linked to like some special ID or some green pass. You're going to see it, man. And the same way Vanessa started off as, oh, we're not going to mandate it. Oh, we're not going to force it. Oh, we're not going to do this. They're going to they're gonna do the same thing. That's why Revelation 13 and 16 says, and he causeth all. Poeo. We are in poeo. He is causing. All right. He is making ready. He is fashioning the world both the infrastructure, but also the mental, all right, the uh, uh, the mindset of people, okay, to be ready for Marcus because Marcus is a big prophecy, all right? That Marcus is a very big prophecy, man, and it, we're going to see it, all right? And Lord willing, you know, as it says in Revelation 3 and 10, the Lord is going to keep us. But really, now you should be excited. You're not, what, you, what, you, what do you have to be afraid of? You should be excited because... We know that this is the end, you know, that we are in the last days, okay, and we just needed that first domino to fall and push the rest. You know, now, of course, the scriptures say watch as well as pray, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to watch, okay, and see how, you know, the direction of this thing goes, but we know and, you know, and, and believe that, hey, Yahweh Hashem Yahushua is going to deliver us no matter how bad it gets, all right? That is the, the, the ultimate mindset. That keeps us calm and keeps us going. And there's so much information. I mean, there's so many articles. You jump from one to the other to the other. And then there's another one. And then there's videos going. I mean, you cannot keep... One person cannot keep up with all this information. You know, from news clips to articles to videos to... Uh, <laughs> you know, it's just, it's just everywhere. Okay? But that's prophecy. So this is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 14. And I'm going to start at verse... Uh, 13 it says um now therefore set thine house in order and reprove thy people comfort such of them as be in trouble and renounce corruption let go from thee mortal thoughts and we're gonna need to completely let go of them mortal thoughts the ones that weigh you down you know the ones that are not you know like it says cast away the burdens of man put off now the weak nature you, you look you're gonna need to lock into a different gear where all like you're driven by faith you're driven by your desire and your need for salvation okay you know some people here they'll say well I'm willing to do whatever it takes you got to be willing to do whatever it takes all right to 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 serve the Lord you you got to be willing to do whatever it takes to get salvation and that would lead you to, to greater heights in terms of faith no matter what you may be faced with, you have to be willing to do whatever it takes. Because now is when you're going to need to put that into play the most. Are you willing to do whatever it takes to get salvation? And that's not going to be doing anything wicked because we know that in order to get salvation, you can't, oh, I'm going to murder somebody. That's that's not going to get you salvation. All right. So in terms of righteous acts, all right, in terms of perseverance, in terms of staying in the spirit, a strong mind. A strong spirit. All right, putting off doubt, putting off fear. Okay. Verse fifteen it says, "And set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee, and haste thee to flee from these times." Okay. It says, "For yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen, um, has seen happen shall be done hereafter." See, so it's gonna get so it's gonna get bad. And Ezra, the Lord showed Ezra a lot of these uh, evils. Okay? It says, For look how much the world shall be weaker through age, so much the more shall evils increase upon them that dwell therein. That's why the time we're living in is going to be a time like never before. Okay? But bring it on, man. You know, this has been spoken of since the beginning. And we're here, finally here to fulfill it. 
Now, imagine when, when Abraham was told the promise. Damn. You know, the scriptures say in the book of Hebrews, um, seeing them afar off, thousands of years. Now, this was before we were even going to go into the Babylonian, the Egypt, uh, Egyptian captivity, the, the Assyrian captivity, the Babylonian, and then all these different captivities until Yahweh Shai coming on the scene, then him leaving, then another couple thousand years until now. And he and, and they, they were patient and they had faith and they believed. And we we are here now in that time that they, everybody has been waiting for. We're here. Literally, it's, it's staring us right in the face. The things that were prophesied by Isaiah, Jeremiah, all the prophets of old, it's staring us right in the face. All right, and we're all about to be tried. Okay, but as the scriptures say, what manner of, uh, roughly paraphrasing, material are your works going to be of? Is it going to be gold? Is it going to be silver? Is it going to be some other precious stone, precious metal? Or is it going to be chaff? All right, or paper? Because it's all going to be tried against fire. Okay, it says, uh, verse 17, for look how much the world shall be, oh, read that. Verse 18, for the time is fled, uh, the time is fled far away, and leasing is hard, is hard at hand. For now hasteth the vision to come, which thou hast seen. And a precept that's, you know, you can, that comes to mind is Habakkuk. All right, though it tarry, wait for it, for it shall surely come and it will not tarry. The vision is hasting, just like we are hastening all right, onto the, the coming of the day of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, as opposed to hard coin the year. Well, that vision is hastening to come. Okay? That vision is hastening to come. And you better be ready. People think it's a game. You think it's a joke. These people are not playing. The war has changed. They're about to come out with some new shit. They're about to be on some, <laughs> you know, full. they're going to get on that level. The scriptures, when the, when the scriptures say something, it's not exaggerated. It's not, don't underestimate it. No, it's going to happen exactly as it says. When it says, as a matter of fact, let's pull that up. All right, when you read these words, they're exactly as they are written. They're going to happen exactly as they are written. All right, Daniel 12 and 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. And Michael is one of the archangels. And the children of thy people are Israelites. Okay. It says, and there, and that it will start with the elect. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation. Meaning, since the Lord put us on this earth, since there was a nation, because nation, nations come from men, okay? No, no time, not the flood, not the, not the different captivities, nothing. There's never been a time like what's what we're about to face right now. So that should tell you that this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning, but it's the beginning of something much worse. But guess what? With greater tribulation comes greater deliverance. And that's what we're going to be looking to. We're going to be looking to Isaiah 59 and 19 for the Lord to lift up that standard. We're going to be praying to the Lord that even if we do find ourselves in a, in a FEMA camp or, a, you know, internment camp, that the Lord is going to protect us. And even if we do have to lose our life in there, the Lord is going to give us the spirit to do it willingly. You know, like those those seven brothers and their mother in the book of Maccabees. All right. So fear not. Whatever lot you win, the Lord will provide for you and protect you and give you the spirit to fulfill it to, to his satisfaction. It says, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered. At that time of, of, of trouble, of, of tribulation, of Jacob's trouble, what? Thy people shall be delivered, but specifically who? Everyone that shall be found written in the book, and that is the elect. Okay? So yes, tribulation is coming. Yes, mandates are coming. Yes, it looks like they're targeting us, but so what? You know, what are they going to do? They're only going to do what the Lord is going to allow them to do. But wait till the Lord puts that standard on the earth, man. And this is why we're excited because this and their push is going to provoke that standard. Remember, Isaiah 59 and 19 is like a counter. You know, it's like a counter when somebody, uh, uh, you know, th throws a bad, you know, a bad punch and you, you get an opening and you counter them. 
All right, and that's what uh, uh, that's what Yahweh Bashem Yahushua is gonna do to these devils. That's why it says, when they come in like a flood, then the Lord is gonna lift up the standard. Okay, but we know that seeing all these things, these are signs that we are close, man. These are signs that we are at the the you know we're very close to salvation. All right, but we know before salvation comes destruction. All right, now this is the book of Romans thirteen and eleven. It says, and that knowing the time, all right, and how do we know the time? By measuring the time, by reading the scriptures, and knowing what to look for. It says that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. And if our salvation is near, then that means that the tribulation that we're going to get the, the salvation from has to be even closer. Verse 12, the night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envying. But that's what these people are doing. Okay? Because they, they, they're, they're blind. They don't see what's going on. And they're going to get caught up, man. And they're going to wish, they're going to cry, they're going to beg, but to no avail. Verse 14, but put ye on the Lord, Yahweh, um, Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, all right, or Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof, okay? Because, just like Yahweh Shai said, if thy right eye, um, roughly paraphrasing, offend thee, pluck it out, you know, don't, don't, look, man, we are, we are way too close to the end to, to trip up, man. You've been doing, if you've been doing what you got to do, you've been doing well, but now that we at the end, you got to put, you just, just put, put, put all you got, man. Empty out your tank, all right, to the point where when the, when, when the Lord stops us from, you know, he ends this ministry, he stops us from teaching, at least you would have, you, you've given everything you can, okay? But it's about to get, it's about to get real, man. It's about to get real, and we keep saying it, we cannot stress it enough. It's about to get real. You will be see. You will face this. You will feel the cold. You know. You will see it. You might have to run out your house. You might need to flee somewhere. You are going to experience this, and it's going to get worse. But it, as the scriptures say, the just shall live by faith. So with that, I'm going to end it here. Lord willing, that was edifying unto the elect. All right, keep on watching. All right, stay on that watchtower, man, because a lot more is ready ready to get its way on here as we approach August, September, and the winter. Okay, so with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kodash. Until next time, Shalom.